Hello guys, what's up? Here's Baiano with Baiano Renault. Today we will show you how to remove and replace a toilet. And uh, by the end of this video, you guys will be able to do it by yourself. I why? <laughs> yeah. Do it yourself. By yourself. D I U. <laughs> D I Y. <laughs> D I Y. Okay, let's get the job done. Let's work. Yes. Is this a recording? <laughs> So these are the tools that we use to remove and replace the toilet. First we use the tape to measure all the dimensions. And then we have this two crescent brush. One is to hold the pipe not to move. And the other one is to tighten up the bolts. We use this as a knife, a party knife. We use to clean the old wax from the toilet. We have a screwdriver. This is to hold the screw inside the tank to tighten up. This is a small level that we use to check the level of the toilet to make sure it's nice and level that we will have a good flow. This here is a product that we use to clean the floor. Where we removed the old toilet it was a little bit mess, so you use this product to wipe it clean. And we use a cloth. I would like to know, we're gonna replace this toilet because it is an old toilet. It works great right now, but it's two things. The color is dated. Another thing that I show you is the tank. It is a big tank. Needs a lot of water to flush anything down. Before you buy the toilet, you have to check a few measurements to see the toilet that you're gonna buy gonna fit where you're gonna remove the old toilet. The regular size would be 12 inches from the wall to the screw of the toilet. Other measurement in that case, another measurement that you need to make sure that gonna fit would be the height. Because some toilets they are a little bit high than others, so that is an important measurement. And sometime on the older home you have a very tight space where you just have a space for the toilet. You would have to check to see if the width would be okay to fit. Usually the newer toilet, they have a smaller tuck than the older one, so usually it is good on the width. First thing we have to shut off the water. Okay, now the water is off. Okay, the reason that we remove all the water from inside the bowl and the tank is because we don't want water to be spilling on the floor and cause damage when we move the toilet. We're just gonna flush all the water out. Like you can see, there's no, water, no more water coming in this guy. Let's dry it up. Drying the leftover water inside the top, that way we don't make a mess in the house and cause damage. Yeah, it looks to me that we had some type of toilet lean here that was installed some time ago. No so, red coming off, it's part of it. I will try something different in here to drain this water from the toilet. Let me see if it's gonna work. I just found this. Uh, oh, this looks to be some type of. Put it in. Twist to dry. Let's see. I guess it's better than use your hand. Oh. Let's see if this is gonna work. This works 
very good, better than what I expected. I don't have to wear my hand mask. And we're good. So that's just something that I found on the right and I decided to, to improvise this method. Normally if we have a close to a shower, bathtub, we could put the toilet on the bathtub and drop off the water and then bag it later on to remove out of the house. You back me a bit. Now we're going to disconnect the water line. Oh. Looking good. No water. Usually as the water come out, probably it had to do with the valve. Yeah, this you can see the water is there. Next step, we're just gonna remove the, the screws that is hold the toilets on the floor. Let's see what we have in here. Once it's loosened up, you can use your hand just to unscrew it. Well, so far we shut off the water, we dry the tank, we dry the bowl as much as we could, remove the screws, now we are ready to remove the toilet. Usually we take this apart when it's one person alone work with it. You just take it apart, that way it's light. But this one I'm not gonna play too much with it because it's old. Probably look here, this thing probably is about 34 years old. So we will put the bottom part of the toilet inside of a contractor bag. They are very strong. That way it's eliminating uh, spillage of water once we carry out to dump it. Okay, let's work. We're just gonna back this guys up. I just lift it up it a little bit. And now I'm gonna put the bag this way. Then I just uh, gonna lift it up the other end. This time is lay up. Okay, we have the toilet inside the bag. No, we don't have any problem of uh, water dripping on the house. Now this is uh, the wax seal underneath the toilet. Uh, we're just gonna remove the old one and replace with the new one. And uh, we just have a party knife. We're just gonna, gonna remove this wax, clean it up. Make sure it's nice and clean, that way it's ready to install the new toilet. Yeah, we gotta clean this, that's why when we put a new wax, it's uh, sealed tight. Yeah, I'm use this product, you know, just to clean up the, the tile. I hope you learn how to uninstall a toilet. Please check next video, we're gonna show you how to re reinstall a toilet. Please let us know in the comments what you would like to know and how we can improve our videos. And thank you very much. Please subscribe, few thumbs up. See you in next video. This would be a great channel to learn D I E D I E Y. <laughs> Why?
Ya. Di ayu. Men.